Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a timeless brew built around the new card, Cursed Mirror. Well, it's actually really built around Geological Appraiser, but it's about the interaction between this new Cursed Mirror from Modern Horizons 3, which reads, uh, three mana for an artifact, tap to add one red, but as it enters the battlefield, you may have it become a copy of any creature on the battlefield until in turn, except it has haste. So that last part, except it has haste, is huge for this deck. Um, previous iterations of sort of geological appraiser combo, um, you had to kind of get lucky with um, the recruiter, which kind of gave, uh, kind of randomly gave some of your guys haste or not. But the fact that you can play four cursed mirrors with geological appraiser, um, means so let me read geological appraiser if you don't know what it does it's a four mana three two but it enters the battlefield if you cast it you discover three now it works really well with uh cards that can copy it because if you always discover into a card that copies it you'll get another geological appraiser and that one will discover three and that one will discover into another card that can copy it so the entire deck is just spells that cost three uh or less that copy the geological appraiser um so when you cast it, the geological appraiser you will discover into all of these all 12 of these uh, make a copy of a creature when they enter the battlefield um however the curse mirror gives the creature haste which is really big because that lets you pretty much guaranteed win the game uh the turn you play the geological appraiser um some of the other versions you had to just way to turn to win so this is a, a huge difference to give them all haste because what happens is if you hit a cursed mirror it gives the copy haste and then every subsequent copy that you hit it, that can copy the cursed mirror copy which has haste and then the new copies will also have haste so um unless all your cursed mirrors are kind of at the bottom of your deck you'll only if that's the case you'll have only four hasters but if there's at least one somewhere near the top of the deck all subsequent copies will have haste. So um, it's a pretty good chance that you'll have a lethal attack the turn that you play the Geological Appraiser. Now the rest of the deck is just mana, as you can see, and also um, ways of getting a treasure so that you can turn three, play the Geological Appraiser, as well as Beseech the Mirror, which is a backup Geological Appraiser. Essentially, um, so you have eight copies of it. Um, Beseech is four mana for a sorcery. You can bargain it, and if you bargained it, you can search the library for a card and cast that card uh, right away. If you have pay, if it has a uh, current mana cost three or four or less, so um, otherwise you put it into your hand. But what we're trying to do is to win on turn three here. Uh, the magma opus, the creative outburst, and the elemental masterpiece all have this ability that you can pay two to discard them and create a treasure token, as well as the grabby giant, which is a two mana instant to create a treasure token. So that's why these are all here. Kind of the backup plan of the deck, if you will, is to hard cast these, but um, that doesn't happen too often. So ideally you are going turn two, make a treasure, turn three, play an appraiser or bargain a beseech. Now to bargain the beseech, um, we're playing a lot of red, black dual lands, of course. So you can play the Appraiser or the Beseech, depending on which is in your opening hand. And we also have Artifact Land. So we got the Dark Steel Citadel, the Treasure Vault, and uh, one of the Mist Vault Bridge, uh, and four of the Drossford Bridge. So they're Artifact Lands, which you need to use the Beseech to bargain it. So that is the idea of the deck, trying to get turn three wins and just attack for uh, lethal damage on turn three by comboing off with Geological Appraiser and Cursed Mirror. Let's jump into some games and see it in action. All right, Cursed Mirror, Geological Appraiser combo. <clears throat> no enabler here. And none here either. And there is a Beseech. So we will throw back the Cursed Mirror and one of these. Yeah, that should work. All right. And lead on the tap land. So this is a turn three. Hopefully, don't get grief scammed here. Uh, we can do the grabby giant, which is probably better. I'm just going to play this and 
pass. Yep. I think just hold up the grabby giant. And see what they do. The backup plan is just grabby giant beat down. Okay, nothing. Okay, gonna go for this. See if it resolves. Green, white. Could could have a counter spell here. Which I would much rather them counter this than my beseech. See, okay, uh, reprieve, got it. Interesting, okay, so soft counter spells. Good to know, uh, just try it again here. Pass. End of their turn. Oh, there's blue mana. Okay. Let's hope that they tap out here. Okay, that kind of a tap out. Let's give them potentially some mana. Three spawns, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that should... Uh, I can't think of anything colorless that would be able to stop this, but... Um... Okay, pay the life here, and we'll go... Go for it and sacrifice the. We'll sacrifice the treasure here. I think that's better than. Let's keep all the lands. All right, and get our appraiser. Will it resolve? It does. Ooh, and hit a curse mirror right away. Perfect. That means all our copies will have haste here. Which is exactly what we want. And should should we get uh, 12, I think 12 hasters out, out of this, so that is... 12 times 3, 20, 26 damage, 36 damage, 36 damage. They can block 3 of them, but they're at 13, so. This should work. Copy the haste ones, yep, alright. <clears throat> GG. Alright, Cursed, Mirror, Geological Appraiser combo. This looks like a good hand here. We've got, mm, we'll just go with this tap land to start. Although this haunted ridge is a problem here. The turn three. All of these are tap lands. Um, okay. All right, well, there's the Lips, which can let us hold up uh, treasure here. Sure. Looted Delta, find surveil land, yep. So red, black. Hope we don't have a discard spell. Backup plan is just hard casting these uh, seven mana spells. Uh, and turn, yep. Oh, they got a gamble. They put up a gamble in the yard from the surveil. So, some sort of gamble deck, so maybe some sort of reanimator here. That would be my guess.
Um, let's see. Okay, nothing. No discard. No reanimate. No. They discarded a surgical extraction. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, we're gonna go for it. See what happens. Hopefully, this is a win. We could have some removal. Totally possible. No, looks like it's resolving. Alright, still could remove. Nope. Okay. We definitely would have used the removal. So hit the mirror first, which is good. Okay, hit the mirror image. Very nice. Keep copying the hasters. Yep. First mirror can copy the original. Okay, another cursed mirror. Hopefully the opponent sees what's coming. We got 5, 15 damage so far. Alright, copy a haster. Yep. There's the mimic. Alright, good game. Alright, Cursed Mirror, Geological Appraiser combo. Looks like a, a fine hand, I think. We can lead with the bridge. And then we need an untapped land to be able to go turn three. Beseech, but let's see if we draw it. <clears throat> if not, we have to wait a turn. And Swift Spear, yep. Double Beseech, in case they have a discard spell. Waiting for the opponent to attack. They have to go turn two. Masterpiece. There's the land. Okay, perfect. So just pass here, and hopefully they just tap out. That is a tap out, but that, uh, I think it's going to kill us here, because it's going to, we won't pay any mana for the spell. Let's see how many appraisers we can make before we die. A good, uh, good card to have in Timeless for sure. Yep, go to 15, and we will do our thing. There's no way for us to remove that, so, I mean, it's the only thing to do. We can cast our Appraiser, which I think is going to trigger this for 5. Yeah, so then, and then this is going to trigger for five more. Is that right? So, that's basically going to kill us. Alright. Got us. Alright. Cursed Mirror Geological Appraiser combo. This looks like a fine opener. Need one more land. Actually, no, this is fine. Here, because this works for a land. Oops. Although it does not, um, the Haunted Ridge does not tap on turn two, which is unfortunate. So we need an untapped land here. Nope, missed on that. So it doesn't matter too much what we do here. We're going to be a turn slow, fortunately. <laughs> See if we can, oh, well, setting up with some up with some powerful stuff here. Yeah, if this had been an untapped land, we would have been able to win here, but not with the Haunted Ridge. Let's see, there's another Mimic. 
Um, fine, we're just playing that out as another tap land because we can't do anything with three mana anyway, so. Nope. And just hold up <clears throat> Elemental Masterpiece. There's an Ornithopter. The hope is uh, no counter spells here. Sure, that works. Yep, gonna make guy scry. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right, gonna go for it here. We can. <clears throat> we need to use this for red, huh? Yeah. Um. Yeah. We do. So. See what they got. Resolves. All right. <clears throat> well, we're gonna hit the mirrors first. All right, something in my throat today. Here we go. All right, curse mirror. So this will give haste to all the subsequent ones. Kind of the curse mirror, and then okay, here's all our curse mirrors. Doesn't matter too much, as long as the Cursed Mirror is kind of near the top of the deck. That's what you want, but all your subsequent clones will <clears throat> can copy the Haster ones, which is what makes this combo so awesome. And this can copy the original. And we should get a good amount of Haste ones out of this, because we drew three, actually. Let's see how many we get. And then maybe one more in here. There's 12 clones total. And that should be uh, it. And um, <clears throat> I blocked two of these, but I think this is exactly enough. So it's kind of unfortunate we drew three of the clones, but um, it is what it is. And get down to two, okay. Lay out the tap land. So yeah, if we had one more clone in the deck, or... Um, yeah, we can't finish them off with <clears throat> Magma Opus, which is nice. Or the, uh, this is five damage, yeah, five damage chain target. So that should be good enough, regardless of how many guys they get here. Still have enough to attack through four blockers. Alright, and we can even, uh, copying doesn't actually do anything here, but yeah, this attack. All right, good game. All right, Geological Appraiser, Cursed Mirror combo with a turn three on the play here. So can't complain about that. Um, I think I can lead with this Mimic just in case. We need to because we got the grabby giant for turn two okay there's another one he has a life here um just play it out at least there's a counter spell get the treasure down Looks like a mono red deck. Okay, well, that should be game, most likely. Unless I get really unlucky with the uh, appraiser. Yeah, being on the play, turn three on the play is quite good with this deck. All right, well, we hit the mirror right away. 
So we have three of these, so we'll only get 11. Sorry, not 11. Uh, nine. Nine copies. Nine copies, yep. Yeah. But that should be enough. Copy the hasty. One. Yep, yeah, cursed mirror. Copy the original. And keep going, keep going. All right, very nice. Okay, opponent's sticking it out, I love it. Love it. Don't concede, don't concede. Let me attack. Yes, all right. Good game. Alright, Geological Appraiser, First Mirror Combo, this hand is a no-go, this one is better, and uh, keep, what do we put back, probably one of these treasures, um, just get the lands here, yeah, try this. In case they have discard or counter spells, it's good to just uh, keep this. The rest of this deck is essentially mana sources, so this is probably a turn four on the draw, which isn't great. Um, but it is what it is. So I'm going to play out. That's a curse mirror. I'm going to play this out just in case I draw. So I can use the treasure just in case I draw a um, untap land. So looks like an Eldrazi build. Yep. Attack for two. No attack for two. Huh. I don't know what that means. Let's see. All right, well, there's an untapped land. Why would they not attack? Uh, I think I'm still going to just go for it here. I don't see a reason not to, really. Um, sure. So... This will set me back quite a bit, but we do have some more lands in hand. If this doesn't work, okay, if this resolves. The appraiser, does that resolve? Okay. Okay, let's see if this resolves. Okay, I guess that's good enough. All right, Geological Appraiser, first mirror combo. This hand does nothing. There's a Beseech, so we keep and put back the Cursed Mirror. Yep, we got it. We have an artifact land, so that works with our Beseech. So this is turn three. Put it down to five, and the Veteran. Okay. Sure. Let's see what they got. Mono white. Uh, life gain. Sure. Okay, let's take the damage here, I guess. And pass. And we can go for it next turn. Mm, I don't, yeah, I mean, mono white, instant speed removal or counter spells. Okay, that's, uh, that should be game here. Just gonna make our treasure. 
assuming everything goes right here with the beseech. With the um, order of the deck here. Okay, sacrifice. Find the appraiser. Cast yes, appraiser. Alright. And mirror image. I'm hoping to find a. Yeah, opponent gives me the nice. Give me thanks. There's the curse mirror. Okay, we found that, so all the subsequent ones will have haste. Uh, let's see if this will add up to 21. Copy the hasters. First mirror can copy the original. And this will copy a haste. Yep. So, 15 damage thus far. 18 damage. Yep. I think we we're going to get there. 21 damage, at least. GG. Alright, Geological Praiser. First mirror combo. This has a Beseech. It has an artifact land, but it has a blue land in it. Only two black sources. Um... I think I'm going to keep, I just need one black source to make this work, but uh, it's hard to say. I mean, these mirror images are kind of just dead cards, so I could see this being a mulligan, but uh, okay, there's another, another source, black source. It's unfortunate these are in my hand and not in my deck, but we do know that the, it is, <clears throat> the curse mirrors are higher up in the deck then. Okay, unstable amulet. Ooh, that was a good draw. So play the land and pass. Yep, this will let me go to turn three. On the beseech. Hopefully they just tap out here. Brainstorm. Back two. And then use the amulet. Sure. Find another amulet. <laughs> okay. Looks like they're tapping out. I'll take one. I guess they can still use this to find something, but yeah, this should be, should be game, oh man, <laughs> I was unlucky, um, should be game here, I want to sacrifice this vault, yeah, as long as I get a reasonable hit here. Off of the appraisers, there is still eight clones left. Okay, and eight times three would be enough. All right. Okay. See if our opponent lets us play it out. That's always nice. If they do. Alright. Game. Hello and welcome back to the wrap up. This was a pretty powerful deck here. I think we won. Um, the majority of our games, I'll just say that. It was like 70, 80% uh, wins that I had. Um, about seven wins in a row with this deck, which was 
pretty impressive, although I'm not in the highest rank. So um, I don't think the deck is, is that good. Um, it's just our opponents really didn't have much interaction. Um, but certainly a, a powerful deck because being able to kind of guarantee win on turn three pretty consistently if they don't interact um, is powerful. If you're on the play with this deck and you know you go turn two, uh, make it, they tap out on turn two, turn two, you make a token, then turn three, just play one of these, you just kind of win. Um, if they have discard, counter spells, even creature, instant speed has to be instant speed creature removal. That can all disrupt it, but um, you do have eight sort of copies, ways of going off, so you didn't have to mulligan too much, um, and, you know, we had some backup plans, so to speak. If things didn't go right, you could try again if they countered one of them, um, or removed one of them. But yeah, very a very powerful deck. Uh, I don't know, there could be other ways of sort of building this. You could play, like, none of these accelerators and play some of the um, pitch elementals here so you could kind of interact with your opponent more. Uh, that's certainly another direction you could go with this deck. Let me know in the comments what you think about this combo. Um, I think kind of just like having these, this core here would be really good. And then if you wanted to change these for some different interaction, the, the pitch elementals are the only cards I can think of that would be pretty good um, with this deck. Uh, grief and then some other maybe uh, black cards to pitch to it um, could be particularly good to kind of help you fight through counter spells or just disrupt your opponent. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about the deck. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.